friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Points. It is Saturday, so it is grocery haul day. I have my grocery haul for you as well as what is on my menu for dinners for the week. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up and of course subscribe and turn your bell on so you never miss a grocery haul or any other video because I do upload five days a week. Check out that description box down below for nutrition coaching. I offer personalized macros and calories as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things, and of course, come on over, join my Facebook group. We'd love to have you. So let's jump in to this week's grocery haul. So here is my grocery haul for the week. This week, I just did my shopping at Fry's which is a Kroger store because I didn't eat a whole lot. I will be gone this weekend like I shared in yesterday's weigh-in. So I ended up picking up a few things for me to take with me for healthy snacks, meal replacements, and I grabbed a few extra goodies for Troy for a while, for a while I'm gone. So let's go ahead and jump in to the grocery haul. The first thing I picked up is a bottle of red wine. This is actually for a dinner recipe this next week. I bought the cheapest red wine I could find because I only need about a cup or so for the recipe and then either Troy or I drink this. So the rest of it will probably go to waste. So I wanted to pick up the least expensive bottle that I could find. I did grab some Mission Tortilla Strips because I picked up our favorite Fiesta dip. I thought this would be a great snack or easy meal for Troy while I'm gone. He also needed some razors. So I grabbed the Kroger Twin Blade Razors. Low fat ricotta cheese. This is for a dinner recipe. And then I bought quite a bit of meat because they had some really, really good deals. If you go first thing in the morning, you can usually get your hands on a lot of their reduced meat and as long as you use it right away or throw it in the freezer you can save yourself quite a bit of money because we know meat is really expensive so I did pick up two pounds of the simple truth organic 90 10 lean ground beef my little pro tip for you with ground beef is all you have to do is rinse it and you can count it as extra lean or 96 percent ground beef because you basically rinse away all of the fat so if it's cheaper to buy the fattier cut do it and just rinse it. Also, I have never seen this. I must have just missed it in previous trips, but this is the mild Italian seasoned ground chicken, and this is 95% lean. I did pick up two packs because this is a great substitution for sausage in a recipe, much leaner, lower points, lower calorie, lower fat. And then they had their ground chicken on sale too. This is the leanest, the 97%, so this would be zero points and 439 is a really good deal. So I picked up one pound of that as well. Lasagna noodles because I'm making a one pot lasagna recipe in Wednesdays, what I eat in a day. So stay tuned for that. You're not going to want to miss it. It's going to be family friendly, comfort food, but really good in points and calories. A couple bottle, a couple bottles of Hint water. I want to take these with me when I travel this weekend. I picked up a blackberry and a watermelon. It's been a really long time since I've had Hint water. I needed reduced fat shredded cheese for a couple of recipes, and I don't know why, but I wanted the sharp cheddar this time instead of the light Mexican blend. Red, white, and blue potato salad. This is for Troy uh, for while I'm gone. This was on sale for $2.99, which is an excellent deal. And then of course, our favorite Fiesta dip also on sale. They have a sell by date of tomorrow, but we usually finish them within four or five days. So they remain good for us. This is such a great party dip. We have bought this time and time again. If you can find it at your local Kroger store, highly recommend. And then I picked up lots and lots of protein bars because I plan on taking these with me for snacks. So the Power Crunch bars are on sale right now for four for $5, which is a really good deal. And these bars are pretty good. So I grabbed one of the lemon meringue. I've never tried the red velvet. Peanut butter cream is my favorite. And then I love anything mint chocolate. I also grabbed one of the Quest birthday cake bars. These are really the only Quest bar that I like. I haven't tried these in a long time. So I'm hoping that they don't bother my stomach. And that's partially why I only picked up one. And I've never tried this brand of bar, but it had 20 grams of protein, which I thought was really good. This is the Think Bar in Lemon Delight. I love lemon anything too, so I'm really excited to try that. So this will just give me some healthy snacks or meal replacements while I'm gone. And then just a little bit of produce for the week, a couple of yellow onions, and then four bell peppers because I'm making taco stuffed bell 
peppers. So that is everything that I picked up for groceries for the week. So let's go ahead and jump into what's on my menu for dinner. And don't forget, there will not be a meal prep this fall, this coming up Monday because I am out of town. But let's jump into what's on my menu for dinner. So here is what is on the menu for the week. So today, Saturday, we always go out for dinner. Sunday, I will actually be out of town. Monday, I'm making that one pot lasagna recipe that you'll be seeing in Wednesdays, what I eat in a day. We know Tuesdays is a leftover night. Wednesday is taco stuffed peppers. Thursday, we are feeling BLTs again. And then Friday is leftovers as well. That way we can finish up all of the leftovers from earlier in the week. Thank you for joining me for this week's grocery haul. Don't forget that there will not be a meal prep on Monday, but I hope you're excited about the recipes for dinner this week. And of course, you'll be seeing that really good pasta recipe in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. If you enjoyed the grocery haul, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell is turned on so you never miss a future video. Don't forget to stop by that description box for nutrition coaching, links, discounts to my favorite things, and of course, come on over, join my Facebook group. Happy Saturday, happy weekend, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.